Welcome back to Minikun's Health Tutorials. In this third episode of the Kaplan Meyer Survival Analysis, we're gonna plot the Kaplan Meyer's survival curve and I'll interpret the curve afterwards. So but maybe if you haven't yet watched the previous videos, I would advise you to do that. Maybe if you are interested in knowing how to calculate the survival time, or not, not even the survival time, but the time of participation of each subject in the study. In other words, the, um, the duration of the follow-up of each subject. For instance, this patient was followed up in three months, six months, and in that order. And after that, how to obtain the sensitive data, or even how to come out with the survival distribution function. In other words, the cumulated probability or survival rate as time goes by. If you are interested in knowing this, then I would advise you how to, I mean, to watch the previous videos. You know, in the previous video, we did this. So, but for the purpose of this third episode, we will simply plot the and interpret the survival kaplan meyer survival uh, distribution curve and to do that all that we need is the time of participation in other words the duration of the follow-up of each subject and then the sensitive uh, data or the sensitive information data information the sensitive information or the sensitive follow-up information does it we say a uh, what do we call it? A, a period of study is sensed when we have let's say individuals who left the study or probably individuals who were followed up till the end but they never um they never for instance they, they never portrayed the the what do we call it the events that we were looking for for instance if it's survival analysis most of the time the judgment criterion is always the death so if the individual was followed up till the end but he never died then we'd have what we call the sensitive data that's why we write one in that order so this the only two things that we need for the kaplan meyer survival analysis it, just the, the participation time and then the sensitive data information so that's all now to do this, we will need what we call um, the survival analysis add-in. And let me show you quickly where your add-ins are located in Excel. You click on File, and then you click on Options. When you click on Options, right here you see add-ins. You click on Add-ins, and then you click on Go right here as you can see we don't have the survival analysis add-ins so we need to download it and then we'll browse and then install it here to do this to download it i would show you where to find it and i'll leave the disc i mean the link in the description so that you can download it or if you can see clearly you could write it from the screen so simply i'll copy this URL and then I'll go to my browser Firefox So on my browser I'll simply paste this now search So on the browser as you can see this is the survival analysis add-in right down here So I'll click on it and then you see download so if you download it already downloaded if i should open in my downloads here it is survival analysis however you know this is not uh, this is not like a setup where you can click to install or anything for you to install this you will first of all need to import it and then it will be for it to be installed so to import it you simply click on file come to options go to your add-ins go to click on go and now click on browse 
and click on browse click on downloads or wherever you have you, you put your downloads your downloadings so and after that you click ok you select it and click ok right now you see that we have our add in survival analysis add in so when i as soon as i say ok you see that the add ins will appear on top here here it is so right now we we'll click on the add ins that we've just added and you can see kaplan myers survival analysis so it is kaplan Meyer. we click on that and this dialog box opens when this dialog box opens it's very simple first of all it's asking us for the duration data column the duration data column simply is the time of participation of each patient in a study as i said and then the next column it will be it, will, it requires of us is the sensitive information as i said so we click on this place and then we select the duration and to select the duration you have to be careful here in the sense that the zero was added by you know the zero is not actually it's just to what should i say because when we are estimating the survival distribution function we have to consider the initial stage of the analysis of the the what do we call the inclusion at the point of inclusion that's why we have the number of uh, survivals at risk at each point so we are just trying to say from time zero and then in that order the probability you see that the probability decreases at time what do you call it at the initial time the survival rate was 100 percent but as time goes by the survival rate decreases the probability of survival decreases because due to you know the complication of the disease you know so that's why we put zero so but when you are as you can see in the follow-up data or follow-up results we had seven subjects and so the zero is just added for what should i say for the purpose of estimation estimating a function but when we want to import the duration the the, the, the column the data from the duration column we don't have to pick the zero we just leave it but anyway the excel will automatically generate the zero we did this manually so excel knows how to do it so we just select from tray here down if your data if you did not add already the zero then there's no need you can just select everything then i say okay after that the sensor data column is the same thing applied so we take it from here we don't have to consider the zero Down. that's okay you click on generate kaplan myers curve and here it is so as you can see automatically excel has calculated you know the the survival distribution function in other words the cumulative probabilities that we were struggling to calculate in the previous videos but we couldn't have let's say that's why i was telling you we only need these two when you do it automatically if you get a sensitive information with a survival time or the participation time or the follow-up time or duration excel will calculate this for us so as you can see for the subject that was followed up for three months the uh, survival rate after at the end of the three months will be 0 0.857 as you can see here is 0 0.857 in that order so right now let me uh, do a brief explanation of the curve you see that the the curve is made up of basically how many steps one two three steps remember the first step corresponds to the zero that's the initial you see zero at the initial point zero we have 100 percent survival rate but as, as time decreases you see that the survival rate keeps on decreasing and then sorry for the interruption 
So as time goes by, as the time increases, either the survival rate keeps on decreasing. And each time that a patient dies, that marks you see that the survival rate falls. So automatically, each of the step, you know, when I talk of the step, I'm just talking of this part. This part, I'm not, yeah, this just this part. Each of this corresponds to death, or what should I say? Uh, to death at the beginning of a particular uh, period of follow-up. For instance, in the three months period of follow-up, what happens? If you look back on the data, three months period of follow-up, the subject died. You know, failure is one. You see, but when, when the sensor data, I'll show you how to find the sensor data. This sensor data, we have follow up period of 9, 11, and 15 are all sensor data. We have two nines. One is death, one is 15. So as you can see, uh, 9 is not sensor data, but the other 9 is sensor. So that's why we only have one 9. 11 is sensor. Why is it sensor? Simply because, as I said, if it's sensor, what it means is that the individual left before the end of the interval or the, the the interval you know the intervals actually corresponds to the what do we call it, it, it the intervals actually corresponds to the the beginning of every fuller period where we observed failure or death sorry so for third you know this the interval starts from here these steps one step corresponds to third a period of three months of follow-up where we had death from the initial stage three months of period we had death so but I see that if somebody if this period let's say 3.5 will be sensed in that order seven for instance is not at here this point but it's somewhere here then it means also sense that this is how it's done thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode please subscribe for more amazing videos like this and please remember to like the video if you really like it if you don't like it never mind dislike it there's nothing wrong but i would like to know how you feel about the video and please share with friends please remember to subscribe as i said till the next video i wish you all the best and good health